Do you remember the story of the Titanic? It was said to be an unsinkable ship. Why? Because it was built in compartments. Before the Titanic, all the ships had been built as one single compartment. So if it got a hole, then it filled up with water and it sank. Somebody was smart enough to build the Titanic in multiple compartments. The idea was that if one got a hole, it would fill with water, just that compartment, and then the ship would still be able to stay afloat. It was so ingenious that the newspapers in England said, this is an unsinkable ship. In fact, they went so far as to say, God himself cannot sink this ship. Well, you know the rest of the story. On its maiden voyage, it was crossing the North Atlantic and it hit an iceberg. The iceberg punched holes clear along the side and so many compartments started filling with water, and the ship did eventually sink. The problem is, nobody thought it was going to sink. So the passengers were but like a bunch of junior high kids who don't leave the building when there's a fire drill. The bells ringing, the captain saying, get to your lifeboats, and all the passengers were thinking he was just being overly cautious. Oh yeah, whatever, he's following his little rules that they have to follow, but... We know the crew's working on it. We know things will get taken care of soon, and they'll let us just go back to our cabins. Now, the ship had stopped. The engine had stopped. They knew something was up, but they just weren't taking it seriously. That's why the very first lifeboats that left the Titanic went out half full. Now, how can that be? when there were so many people who needed to board the lifeboats. Nobody wanted to get on. If you look at the movie, you think it just means that the crew was inexperienced and they were sending out the lifeboats prematurely. No. If you read the accounts of survivors the way I have, then you find out that they wouldn't get on. In fact, they were mocking and teasing the people who were getting in the lifeboat. Oh, you think you're safer on that little lifeboat than you are on an unsinkable ship? Oh yeah, whatever. Go get in your lifeboat. See, they were making fun of the people who were boarding. There were 126 men who lived through that experience. How can that be when the rule of the day was women and children first? Well... Women wouldn't get on. They didn't want to go out in the dark, cold ocean on a little lifeboat. They didn't want their children out there where it seemed dangerous. They would rather stay on this unsinkable ship. The lights were on. The orchestra was playing. The first, pass cla the first uh, class passengers were sipping champagne. What could be going wrong? So there they stood, refusing to get on the lifeboats when they had the chance. And then something happened. The Titanic tilted dangerously to one side. And suddenly, where did everyone want to be? On the lifeboat. Suddenly, everybody wanted to board a lifeboat. But sadly for many, it was too late. 